Now, I make it a point for the way I live to not like any politician whatsoever. There's no MPs I like, no MPs I'd want to give the time of day to. But if I did have to like one, at the minute, Peter Bone is doing a fair job and he's bang on about the TV licence fee. The only problem is he wants the BBC to go subscription, whereas I think it just needs its funding cut and it can go commercial, go subscription, make its own mind up. None of our business at that point, is it? But he's in the papers again, old Peter Bone. Have a look at this headline. BBC was five to one in favour of Remain. How is that impartial broadcasting, says Peter Bone. So this is an article written actually by Peter Bone MP for The Express. So this is his actual thoughts on it. And um, if you didn't see, he talked to Boris on Prime Minister's Questions on Wednesday. I'll put a link somewhere. You'll find it. It'll be on the screen or below somewhere to a video I made about that if you haven't seen that clip. But Boris basically just blew him off. And this is, this is his thoughts on it. Streaming videos on demand would have been beyond even the wildest imagination when the license fee model was conceived at the beginning of the 20th century. Yeah, not even just at the beginning of the 20th century, you know. When did I first go on the internet? 94, 95, we got an internet connection at home, so I was like 13, 14. What a wondrous thing. But I never would have imagined then that you could stream 4K content from all around the world straight into your home. It's crazy, isn't it? It's come a long way. Separate TV licenses were introduced shortly after World War II following the wartime suspension of broadcasting. Even by the 1980s, broadcast TV was largely limited to three channels. That's crazy, isn't it? How long? There weren't that many channels. And then all of a sudden, boom. Crazy times, isn't it? Crazy. Today's era of unprecedented viewer choice has brought into stark relief the inadequacy of the antiquated license fee model for modern viewing habits. Yeah, he does get it. He does... He does get the point, doesn't he? It's who now wants to wait for Wednesday at nine or whatever for their favourite shows to come on? Nobody does. Even if you do watch broadcast TV, you might use like Sky or whatever to series link your show so you can watch it whenever you want because you might be doing something on Wednesday at nine. You don't want to miss your show or you can just stream it whenever you want. Who is, you know, taking the time out of their day to look forward to a show anymore? Does that still happen? I'm sure it happens a little bit. But, you know, I used to like Sundays at 6 when the A-Team was on. I couldn't wait for Sundays at 6 p.m. to watch the A-Team. Now, I've got box sets. It's on streaming services. No problem at all. I'm watching the A-Team whenever I want to watch the A-Team. And that's how kids have been brought up. So kids are not going to be interested in broadcast TV. It's just going to get faded out over the years coming, isn't it? It is time to abolish the TV licence fee. The role of the BBC is famously to inform, educate and entertain. These objectives are frequently given as justification for maintaining a public service broadcaster in this digital age. Yes, that's right. The BBC is a national institution here to inform, educate and entertain the masses. But let's break that down a little bit. Inform. Uh, not many people trust the news. Um, the documentaries seem to have gone out the window and been replaced by reality TV. Educate, yeah, they do have some educational stuff. I guess, more so than many other channels. I'll give them a pass on that. Entertain over Christmas, BBC One. What was it, a third of the stuff on BBC One were repeats. Three quarters of it on BBC Two over the Christmas period was repeats. You know, they've got really low-rated shows. EastEnders is hemorrhaging ratings. Mrs Brown Boys is their biggest thing they've got for Christmas Day. And that's slipping and getting slagged off left, right and centre. Uh, I'm not... I don't think you're uh, you're sticking to your end of the deal here, BBC, are you? The reality is that a state broadcaster is a relic of the past, more suited to the politics of communist Russia and China than modern Britain. I'm starting to like Peter Bone, you know. We've said stuff like that on this channel, haven't we? Do you think he's a subscriber? That'd be good. Hello, Peter. Of the 15 recently announced 2022 BAFTA documentary nominees, only one is currently available on BBC streaming services. I'm not surprised. Under Part 4 of the Communications Act, a licence is needed to watch or record live TV on any channel as well as to watch or stream programmes live online on a TV service, blah, blah, blah. Why should someone who already pays a monthly fee for their BT, Sky, Amazon, Netflix subscriptions have to fork out a further... No, oh, he's got the number wrong. It's 159 quid, Peter Bone. Come on, get your head in the game. You're supposed to be in charge of doing this in Parliament. Or face criminal prosecution to fund a broadcaster whose services they never intend to use. 
So yeah, he does get the point, doesn't he? I reckon he's been reading a lot of your comments on this channel, you know, because many of you have said that tons of times. Why should I pay the license fee when I already pay Sky? I already pay for Amazon, I already pay for Netflix. And it is a very fair point. But the fact of the matter is you don't have to pay it. You don't have to pay it. And I know he's said here it's needed to watch and he's explained what it is needed to watch. But where is he saying here you should all cancel your TV licenses today? If you do cancel your TV license today, as long as you don't watch these things and you only stick to these things, you'll be fine. You know, you've got a lot of clout and you've got a big column in the Express, all of your own here, Peter Bone. Why not use it to persuade people to cancel their licenses and vote with their wallets? Are you just as in the club as everybody else, Peter Bone? No, not you as well, Peter. A license fee which is highly regressive with the poorest in society paying the same flat fee as the mega rich. Moving to a subscription model would force the BBC to compete with its commercial competitors. No, I disagree with that. I disagree with that. If you want them to compete with its commercial competitors, they would be, what, Channel 3, Channel 4, Channel 5 are the BBC's main competitors, not Netflix and Amazon and Disney+. Plus. So if you want them to compete, they need to go commercial. Stop trying to charge a fee for everything. They're already charging a fee and people are annoyed about it. Can't the fee let them show ads? The BBC likes showing ads. They do it. They have other channels they show ads on. They don't mind. So just do that. And then the license fee can go and the BBC can do what they want. And if they want to have a premium subscription service, good for them. ITV do it. They charge you a fee to use ITV Hub if you don't want ads and things. BBC can do a similar thing with some premium stuff over there if they want. But if they just show ads on the telly, the license fee goes away tomorrow. This is why I have brought forward my BBC license fee abolition bill, which will receive its second reading today. And we all knew what Boris thought about that, didn't we? Have a look. Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I have the highest respect for the, uh, for the, for the media uh, judgment of my, uh, my honourable friend. Uh, and I, though I, I understand some of his strictures about the BBC, Mr Speaker, I would also say that it is a great national uh, institution. Uh, but I will, I will study what he has to say uh, with interest. So, yeah, I think Peter Bone makes a fair point in this article. But I think he's missed a big trick. I think he's missed a big trick in getting people to understand that they don't have to pay for the TV licence fee. At no point here did it say, you don't have to pay for the TV licence fee. It just said, you need one to watch this, this, this and this. But it was long-winded and people don't read everything, do they? You know, one sentence in the middle of here that says, you don't have to pay for the TV licence fee if you don't watch broadcast telly. Done. You know, and then people will have more information. They'll be like, oh yeah, maybe I don't have to pay it then. Use your platform properly, Peter Bone. Please, you're doing a good job, mate. And I hope you are watching these videos and I hope you do listen. He's not going to be watching, is he? No one watches these videos. But, you know, I think he's missed a trick. You're playing a good game, but you missed a trick. Better luck next time, Peter. All right? I'm going to email you, actually, and let you know about that. So what do you think about this? Why don't you email Peter Bone as well and let him know to use his platform here in the Express and, you know, all the interviews that he does to let people know they don't have to pay for a TV licence. If they don't want it, that's what I'm going to do. Why don't you do it as well? Let me know what you think about this down in the comments as always. And uh, I'll see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.